Do you live in Norway? No, we live in Italy. Oh, so are you going to wait for it to be sunny and come back again? Maybe. 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 We are staying in Bergen for a few days. Have you been up there? Yes. Just How was your experience? It was a nice little experience. It was going a nice up. experience. Welcome back to my channel guys. I know you'll be wondering why I am showing you a mountain instead of a car or motorcycle. Well, it's all about the future of mobility. Guys, Mount Urikin is the highest of the seven mountains that surround the city of Bergen, Norway. It has a height of 643 meters above sea level. Imagine walking up to this mountain of 643 meters yes 643 meters tall well it is possible though because i have walked up and i'm doing it today again but that is not the purpose for this video you will get to know soon guys it takes about one and a half hours to reach the peak of this mountain by walking hiking up mount Urikin is one of the most popular tours in bergen there are two popular routes to the top of Urikin. Number one is what I am doing now. Walking up the stepper stairs of 1,333 steps built by a group of Nepalese. As you can see here, people walk to and fro every day for leisure and workout purposes. The second option to the peak of this mountain is what I am more interested in. Hey, hi my friend. Hello. Were you able to climb all the way up? Uh, yes, I was. Just coming down now. 1,333 steps. You did that? That's a lot of steps. That's a lot of steps. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. This is what I am interested in. So guys, that is what I'm talking about, the Hurricane cable car. That is electricity powered. That is going to take us from here, ground zero, to the top of the mountain. Many countries are committing to the zero emission transition now in the world. But Norway has always been one step ahead of this game. If you look at this, for instance, there is electricity, and there is, um, this cable car is powered by electricity. No wonder Norway has been or is called the EV capital of the world. I'm here today with Michael, who is a friend. He's been living here in Norway for some time now. He has gone up with this cable car before, and he will share his experience with us today. Michael, do you have anything to say before we go up there? Yeah, I think it's uh, very interesting because uh, knowing very well that it's easier transporting people right from the bottom of the mountain to the top of the mountain uh, without causing any destruction to the environment because it uses electricity and it makes it easier for people. And you have everyday millions or thousands of people or hundreds of people using this uh, what we call Oryx band because okay. Oroken is the mountain yeah. and the, 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 the the car is called Urix Ban and it transports people from bottom to the top of the mountain. It's a very interesting experience and I'm sure you will love it. Okay, so guys, join us to the top and don't forget to hit the subscription button. So now we have to go buy the ticket to go up there, yeah, right? Yeah, to buy the ticket to go up there, you have to get to the, uh, uh, the main entrance and there are machines that you can do it yourself. This is, is, is self-service. Oh, self-service. Yeah. So it's either you go here yeah, yeah. or here? You know, there's human service there or you can do it inside there by yourself. Okay, so we go now? Yeah. Okay. So as you can see, there is a finger on the screen trying to show you what you're supposed to do. So you just click here and this is, oh, first let's change it to the language that you are familiar with. Yeah, that is English, so, yeah. Uh, English language, that's what you are familiar with. Yeah. If you are Spanish or German or whatever, you Italian, you can have it here. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you click here, mm. uh, you have return ticket, you have one way ticket. If you just need one way ticket, you click here if you yeah. want to and from, then you can click return here. Okay. And then you have children because the prices are different, it's cheaper for children but quite expensive, uh, higher on a higher side for okay. adult. Mm. So how many adults you want? Uh, uh, two. And then you click here just to add the number of adults okay. that you are. And so you can see the total price here. Yeah. And you can continue with this. 
end uh, you have more tickets or uh, start payment if you want to start payment or if you want to go back and add more that's up to you so it's valid from uh, uh, today, today which is 11th of august until uh, the same day because it's to and from oh okay so once okay. you are going sense, yeah. yeah so you continue with the start payment okay so oh i have to put the card in right yeah you can insert your card here your bank card there then when you insert your bank card you see the instructions are the full yeah. instructions from the payment terminal then you can click on your code okay good so i'm going to enter my code take out your card okay thank you and then it's loading ticket oh so these are the two tickets yeah so the tickets will drop here whenever you buy a ticket all right so guys these are the two tickets have a look at them now we can go up there right yeah wait if you want to print receipt okay you print, print receipt then you can get your receipt okay and this is the receipt this is innovative this is fantastic yeah. so we can go up right? yeah you can go up. all right good yeah. I fear height. I believe or I pray I will be able to make it to the top. Of course. But I know it's 643 meters up yeah. there. Yeah. Of course, uh, I know that there are people who are usually scared of height, but it's, an, uh, uh, it's, 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 it's highly protected. So when, once you are inside, you don't need to be scared. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just like, just assume that you are in a flight mm -hmm. from Ghana, your home country, yeah. to another country. I mean, it takes almost the same. Awesome. Yeah. This is how the cable car from the top stops for the passengers to get off and for new passengers to board the cable car. Scan your ticket like this, then the door opens. Okay. So guys, I'm also going to scan my ticket. Now I can enter. I delayed, oh, okay. So I have to do that again. Yeah, we'll go inside and wait until it is ready to go. This is manless. There's nobody running it. Or it's, yeah, yeah, it's just everything is uh, automatic. We are just waiting for the gate to close, so we go up to Mount Urike. So Michael, how long does it take to get up there? Yeah, it takes about uh, 46 minutes. 46 minutes, awesome. So guys, we are about to go. So guys, as you can see, the cable car is departing from the ground station to the top of the mountain. So you see that from here you can get a very beautiful view of the city. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, at and in between there are also some uh, platforms which also support in our game. And that is 642 meters above sea level. Yeah. Awesome. So guys, that is the city of Bergen, Norway. Although it is summer and the temperature of the day is 21 degrees, it wasn't sunny enough for us to get a clearer view from the top. The weather was foggy approaching the top, but there was little we could do. We still decided to go to the top of the mountain.
So we can go out a little bit, right? Yeah. Uh, we are going to go out, but yeah. uh, for now, we have to wait until the thing, uh, the food is done. We'll stop. Oh, okay. Yeah. When it's just funny, then we can go out. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry for you. Are you doing right? <laughs> so we're going out, guys. Hmm? I think uh, there is a restaurant here, there is also a restroom for you in case you want to use a washroom, you can do that. If you want some coffee, tea and other things, there is a cafe there, you can also do that. But you have to pay. You have to pay. Yeah. So guys, unfortunately, as you can see, it's foggy up here. We didn't choose the best time to come up here, so you have to deal with it though. So we are going to go to a restaurant and see what they have in the restaurant. Yeah. So they have fun. You have the sky cafe, but restaurant for so mountain cafe also outdoor terrace. Uh, sorry, uh, <laughs> normally you end up uh, I mean pronouncing things in Norwegian. In Norwegian, yeah. So, that is true. Uh, mm. So these are the songs. <laughs> Guys, you have to pardon him. Yeah, he's been here for several years, so he speaks the Norwegian too. So these are the, some of the facilities you can have over here on top of the mountain, Mount Hurricane. So guys, we are done. Now we're going to the waiting room to wait for the cable car to come so we can go down. We're going in now. Wow, Michael. <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah, we can sit here. Yeah. Michael, what's next? Yeah, so now that uh, the door is shut, we are going down now. We are going down now, yeah. wow. Oh, it's quite unfortunate, it's foggy today, so we couldn't get all the view today. Yeah. Now we are taking off now. Yeah, we're taking off now. But uh, as we get closer to the bottom of the mountain, yeah. uh, we will get the view. The view. Because it's uh, cloudy mm. on top of the mountain. So as we descend down and descend down, we get to see the view back again. Yeah. So you can see the view again, mm, little true. by little. Yeah. Wow, that is can very see beautiful. That is very beautiful. And you can also see the another cable car coming from the opposite direction. Right? Yeah. Okay, so this is the other cable car coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's coming from, it's bringing people from bottom of the mountain to the top of the mountain while we also descend down to the bottom of the mountain. Wow. Oh, I can see the brand stadium. Yeah, so you can see the brand stadium, uh, which is the biggest uh, sports stadium for
Wow, what an experience, man. I really loved it. But what's what scary, man? Yeah, it was, I loved it. I loved it. But unfortunately, you know, it was cloudy. Here in Bergen, it's mostly cloudy. So, and on top of the mountain, you should expect that. Sure. We are back to ground zero. Michael, thank you very much for taking us up there. It was scary though, you know. Yeah. But I really appreciate this help. Thank you very much. Okay. Enjoy your day. Thank you. So, hi sir. Yes. Have you been up there? Yes. Just How was your experience? It was nice. A little disappointed because uh, there wasn't a lot of... Uh, there was a lot of cloud and fog. So we couldn't see the city. Yeah. So we wanted to uh, see a city and click some photographs. Yeah. But uh, disappointed, but it was a nice experience. It was a nice up. experience. Yes. Yes. Maybe you have to try again. Yeah, Another maybe next again. time. Maybe yeah. next time when we come to uh, Bergen, then probably. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sure. Have you been up there already? Yes, we've been there. <laughs> and how was your experience? Oh, unfortunately, it was not so good because it was so cloudy up there. We, can, we haven't seen anything. Oh, too bad, too bad, too bad. Very bad, very bad. Yeah, maybe you have to come another time when it's sunny. Yeah, is it sunny? Um, when is sunny? When is sunny? sunny? <laughs> is it sunny here? I don't know. It's not sunny today. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what about you? The same because same we were together. Yes, we had a uh, hot chocolate and uh, some um, some rest, some rest uh, yeah. and wait a bit, uh, hoping that the cl uh, the cloud was was gone. Was gone but yeah. No. But no. are you? Do you live in Norway? No, we live in Italy. Oh, so are you going to wait for it to be sunny and come back again? Maybe. 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 We are staying in Bergen for a few days, so maybe we can get upstairs, up there uh, once again. Oh, we, don't, oh. we don't know. <laughs> I wish you all the best and thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.